In Google Analytics 4, there are various user metrics, such as total users or active users. In this video, we will take a look at two of them, new users and returning users. Also, I will explain why the sum of new and returning users does not match the number of total users. Google Analytics automatically tracks first open and first visit events. For example, if a visitor lands on your site for the first time ever, then first visit will be tracked automatically. And these events are used to calculate new users metric in GA4. Basically, new users just shows the count of unique visitors who logged first open or first visit event in a specific date range of your report. You can use this metric in the explore section, but you can also use this in the standard reports. For example, if I go to traffic acquisition report, by default, I will not see this metric, but I can customize the report, of course, if I have enough permissions. And then here in the metrics, I can add a new metric, which is called new users. Then I can drag it, let's say here, click apply, then save changes to the current report. Now, if I go back, I will see the number of users. So this metric shows active users. And here we see the new users. This is how many users logged the first visit event in this particular date range. Now, when it comes to returning users, Google Analytics basically just cares if the visitor who started a session already had a Google Analytics cookie from one of the previous sessions. So if the visitor had at least one previous session, then that visitor will be considered as a returning user. You can include the returning users metric the same way you did with the new users. So customize the report. And then here in the metrics section, you can include returning users. Then you can rearrange the list of metrics and then click apply and save changes to the current report. Now, if you go back, you will see the number of new users and the number of returning users. Now you might be wondering, Shouldn't the sum of new users and returning users match the number of all users? Well, first of all, users shows the number of active users, while the returning users does not care whether previous session was engaged or not. Even if we changed this metric to total users, the numbers would probably still not match. So let me quickly do that. I will customize the report. And instead of just users, I will include total users like that. Let's rearrange this, then apply and save changes to the current report. Now, if I go back, we will see that total users is seven, then new users is seven and returning users is three. So going back to the previous question, shouldn't the sum of new users and returning users match the number of total users? Well, the answer is no. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we have a visitor who comes to your site for the first time ever. Then Google Analytics will track first visit event and it will include this user in the new users metric. But then let's imagine that the same user after two days comes back to your site. Then Google Analytics will see that this is the same user because Google Analytics cookies from the previous session already exist. And then Google Analytics will include this user in the returning users metric. If we're looking at the data from the last seven days, that same user will be considered both as new user because first visit event was logged, but also that visitor returned several days later and that user is included in the returning users as well. So the same user is included in both metric, new users and returning users. That's why you should never look at total users as the sum of both metrics because there is some overlap between these two metrics right here. For example, here we have two users. One of those users is new, but later both of those users returned so this user is also included in this number right here and that's the end of this video hopefully you now have a better understanding of new and returning users if you found this video useful hit the like button below the video that will help me understand what videos do you like and what should i create in the future also if you want to learn more about google tag manager or ga4 then subscribe to this channel my name is julius this is analytics mania and i'll see you in the next video